Matthew Perry made another video on Terra Luna Classic, and that's exactly what we're going to be seeing here. If you guys want more content like this, smash that like button. You all know, need, know what you need to do. Uh, and the big difference here is Terra Luna Classic does have potential, but how far can this potential go? In that sense, like there is massive opportunities in the crypto space, but I am definitely kind of worried in that sense. Like there is going to be opportunities arising for Terra Luna Classic, and that's where Terra Luna Classic could be seeing that massive withdrawal. But that being said, smash that like button if you haven't already. We're going to be looking at everything that's happening with the crypto prices today, especially with Terra Luna Classic, uh, some drama up ahead. So be careful. Oh, man. I just have a huge headache. I really do. It Like this whole Terra Luna Classic, like... I don't know if it's a debate. I don't know if it's an issue or or whatever. Like there's just people on the other side that may not understand like true data rather than like narratives. And as I see a lot of stuff that's out there. So people have been predicting Terra Luna Classic to be like $15, $5. I think this is where the big issue comes in. Like people are saying, oh, Terra Luna Classic, easy 15 50 dollars and i think this is where the people got really frustrated in that sense like where people think okay terra luna classic it's not seeing the price levels we want to see and i do think terra luna classic does have potential but not in the sense that we are seeing right now like there is opportunities but it's not like gonna skyrocket to one dollar next day and that's where i think the problem lies I do think there is opportunity for Luna Classic, but also like how high can this go? Not that high for sure. There's absolutely no like uh, actual updates for Terra Luna Classic in, in, that, in that way. Uh, and right now what we are seeing is Terra Luna Classic growing stronger and stronger. So I do think it has the potential to see like... Uh, some sort of a double price level price bull run market uh to see actual you know rallies so this is where Terra Luna classic has that advantage but where it does not have that advantage is like people are saying Terra Luna classic is going to go to one dollar no there's no chance of that because Terra Luna classic has been such a long time in this basically worst scenario is how you can actually make something like that recover you can't it's really really hard but people are still saying there is so much opportunity so much potentials in that sense and that's where i get really worried in that level like with that price level but i am excited to see more of of uh cool stuff happening for the coin itself i'm still not that much given up on it it's just that i really don't know how far it can go there's a ton of narratives that are like the price of terra luna classic is increasing because this proposal is not passing and i'm like that's insane to me like, so yeah people are if you don't know what happened it was the, basically the terra luna classic burn everyone wanted the proposal to pass but it didn't and i think this is where the big problem came because if you have no burn why wouldn't the whales just dump all the supply all the time when the price goes up? And that's exactly like without any repercussion. And that's exactly what we were seeing. There's, there's a reason why Terra Luna Classic is increasing and it usually stems from the entire market that it exactly. So exactly as my thought, as I wanted to say, the entire market is increasing. So Terra Luna Classic is not even increasing that much as other crypto prices. I think that's the problem. And this is where crypto markets really take a downturn like where Matthew Perry basically says like Oscar Ramos made a video on it and I'm not calling Oscar Ramos but the classic will only reach you know half a half a cent no half a tenth of a cent and I think like people think this is gonna happen but it's seriously gonna be a problem in that sense so I do think uh, we are gonna be seeing more a rise in that level uh but if you guys want more content you know what to do smash that like button so that are four burns it's just a lot of those people don't know how to vote on terra station 
So the people don't know how to vote. So if they knew how to vote, the prices would go up. The prices would like skyrocket because people would would actually vote for 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 something uh, different in that sense. And I think this is where there is potential for Terra Luna Classic to explode. Validators vote for them, and those validators will vote in an aggressive way towards the no side. But it's okay. I'm not I'm not salty for losing. Or exactly. People are allowed to vote. That's what the voting is the point for. Like people can vote yes or no if they want the burn proposal to pass. But Matthew Perry is putting so much energy into this burn proposal to actually go ahead, pass, rise up. Uh, and I think this is where the big problem arises with, you know, Terra Luna Classic is how can you make it pass? Like how can you make it explode in that sense and i think this is where the real problems come in with terra Luna classic like a lot of people think yeah sure it's gonna do well uh or it just might not and that's completely fine also but i'm kind of worried for terra Luna classic in that sense that if the people keep leaving it we could be seeing like just basically it's stagnating without any burns without any massive uh, updates that people are really wanting to see so people will just give up on the coin and I think that's a Matthew Perry's uh, big uh, actual concern as well is that Terra the Classic might never recover or the fact that it is losing right now that it's not passing um, I'm more of like what I want to talk about is kind of what's dealing what's going on with like prices in general right Terra Luna Classic to a level of a, a dollar is not clickbait. Um, Terra Luna Classic to a dollar and explaining no type of reasoning as to why you believe it's going to make it to there or Terra Luna Classic to a level of $100 or all-time highs without a full explanation talking about why you believe it will get there, what are the scenarios to where it does and it doesn't, and all of that. Now, I talk about all of these things, but in my videos... I will break these things down. And the reason why I talk about these things is not because I just want to put out this video that's related to it. A lot of people have that question. And when they have that question, they get that answer. This is why people... So yeah, Matthew Perry is a very honest person. What he does basically um, is he explains why he thinks Sterling Classic is going to you know, reach. So let's take a look at his videos here. Uh, this is where I think the big potential comes in. So, the reality of Terra Luna Classic. Luna Classic will only reach half a penny. Will this be the end of Terra Luna Classic? So, he actually explains. He doesn't make, like, Terra Luna Classic will can, can reach to 119. So, it can. It could. But it doesn't mean it should. And it also, also reflects, like, his views. They've been rising up to 1 million this week, uh, this month. So, I think this is where Terra, Matthew Perry's... Uh, like well, honestly click comes on in, it is because like where people stay and where people like actually rise up to to Matthew Perry listen to him for for advice because he's been honest and with honesty it goes a lot of these massive potentials we need to see and that's exactly what I'm excited for in that sense like yeah crypto could be uh growing crypto could be rising but there is gonna be more opportunities in the market for Terra Luna Classic. Now, how many uh, of these opportunities will there be for Terra Luna Classic? This I do not know. We could be seeing some major, major drops for Terra Luna Classic in the following days where people won't really have that, you know, potential to see it rise. Because of the fact that they want that answer for that question. It's not just because of Go ahead and so there's like he's calling um, a YouTuber out, Oscar Ramos, basically for not being very honest with the thumbnail, with the title. Uh, so we'll only reach this price level. It does seem like that to see this price level, we would need to be seeing a three trillion market. Now, do you think they're on a classic could reach three trillion? No, let's be realistic. These if you have five thousand dollars. So he basically did the bat you will have $5 billion. And if you have $200,000 in the market, you will have $20 billion. Just let that sink in. So if it will be one cent, that's pretty much amazing to me. That's incredible prices, but they don't mean that will happen. Will Terra Luna Classic reach one cent? No, it's statistically impossible without the burns. With burns, 
it's possible. But without the burns, forget it. And I think this is where, like, a lot of people are disappointed in that sense. Like, where I think their the classic will not be seeing those price levels improve. But again, I am excited. I'm excited to see Terra Classic rise. I'm excited to see it improve. Now, the question is where, how, and when it will improve. How will this arise to be one, one of the biggest tokens in the crypto history? Like, everyone wants to see Terra Classic succeed. But we got to be realistic. Like, half a penny... I know I make sometimes like a one cent prediction if we get the birds. Without the birds, there's no possibilities. Like, this is the biggest issue. There's no possibility for Terra Luna Classic to even reach one tenth of a cent or one hundredth of a cent without the 1.5% bird tax. And that is why Matthew Perry is calling all these big um, validators, all these big institutions to actually do the birds. It reminds me of people that said Bitcoin can never get above. $400 or Bitcoin can never be anything. And then what is Bitcoin now? It's so. So, yeah, exactly. So, there is potential. People are saying Bitcoin will, Terra the Classic will only reach half a cent or won't reach anything more. That's exactly what they're saying with Terra the Classic. It is that possibility. The reasoning is Terra the Classic has had a lot of problems recently with everything, really, with, with all the crypto updates, with all the crypto announcements. There's big problems with Terra Classic, and I think uh, that's where the issue arises for for Terra Luda. Like there is potential to see crypto going back up, but where is it right now? We aren't too sure. So, if you guys want more content like this, you know what to do: smash that like button. I'll keep you guys updated with more news. Peace, everyone.